How you doing? Frank Falvey here, and I'm going to show you how to deploy a Linux virtual machine in the Azure portal. I'm going to do a few other things as well as deploying the VM. I'm going to actually log into the VM afterwards with Putty, and we're going to put in our password, and we're going to put in a few commands to see what directories we have and a few other things like that. So as you can see there, Microsoft lo loves Linux. So we're just going to go over to the portal. And there's a few different ways to go in and spin up your VM. But I usually go here, create a resource and click in here. And as you can see there, the second one down the list, this is what we're going to use Ubuntu. And I'm using Microsoft Learn Sandbox to log into Azure here because if you spin up a VM, Microsoft is going to charge you in your own account. Whereas if you use this Microsoft Learn, just go onto their site, microsoftlearn.com. And you've got loads of stuff in there for doing labs and things like that. So look, we've got a subscription they gave us here. And just below it in a resource group, you can create a new one or we can use an existing one. So we'll just use this existing one. Um, next, we have to give our virtual machine a globally unique name. And we'll just start typing. And when you get a green arrow there on the end, you know you're good to go. So I'm using Azure Bytes as my name there for the, for this demo, this part of my vlog. So you pick your region. And I'm in Ireland, which is Northern Europe. Let me just scroll down. Down the list and we find it. There we go. So we're just going to leave the availability zones as they are for this demo. That's where your VM is going to reside. As you can see there, look, it's giving us a standard D2 VM, two CPUs, eight gigs of RAM. And this is how much it would cost you for a month if you were to use that. $78 a month. For this one, I'm just going to use a password. We're not going to use the keys. So I'm just going to use the password for this one. So the name for this one, we're going to use the same thing there. Azure Byte. So we got the green tick again on the end and you know you're good to go. So you put in your password then. So once you got the green tick, you know you're after putting in your capitals, numbers, etc. So yeah, so there, passwords are good to go. So this part down here, we're a little alone these ports here this is to so is that we can ssh log into our vm afterwards using port 22. so next we'll go on to disks so for this one here we're going to leave them as premium solid states just for the demo and on to our networking a lot of these defaults Microsoft give you and um, for the demo, we're just going to do it. So here we got our inbound port again, 22. Um, leave the networking the same as it is. So 
So just go through all the steps up in the top here. Um, so boot diagnostics is enabled for the storage account is enabled. So we're just going to leave all these off for now. They're just uh, diagnostics and management identity. Okay, and the next one then is tags. So tags are just handy for your naming convention to do with billing and different pro um, projects that you're running. So we're just going to review, rev review and create. And if we have anything wrong, it won't validate. So see here we got the green tick validated so we're just going to hit on create and this takes a couple of minutes so what I'm going to do I'm just going to pause the tape for now so the deployment now is ready so we're just going to go in go to resources down here or you can refresh the page as well so I'll click on resources You can see everything here are, are zoned there in Northern Europe, our subscription, all this stuff. So what we're doing, we're going to connect up here. Click on connect. So what we're, it's giving you three different options to log in. So we're, we're going, because the Linux one, we're going to SSH into it. So we click on that. And here it gives us our username and or had to get into it. So I'm just going to copy out this part here for the putty. So I have putty open down here, so I'm just going to paste it in here. As you can see, look port 22 and SSH. And you click on open. So here we go now. We're logged in logging into the VM so I'm just going to put in my password so yeah there we go Azure Bytes is our name and there's our VM so we just put in LS SA. As you can see there out there are some of our directories there. Um just ping. So yeah, I just put in who am I there and it just gives me back Azure Bytes down wherever. So that's how to deploy a Linux virtual machine in the Azure portal and logging into it, the VM afterwards and putting in a few commands. So thank you for watching.